Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Alchemist, shall we? Now, this is an indie game uh, that the dev reached out and notified me about. I'd never heard of it, and I'm uh, looking forward to see what it has to offer. So, I'm going to dive in for the first time right here, a new game. And it says, a story needs a protagonist. Please write his name or her name. Uh, mine is going to be Dr. Incompetent. Alright, so what is the story about? I don't know. It's complicated. Maybe you will tell me after we complete it. I'll start with the prologue. The day was like any other in the life of Dr. Incompetent, an apothecary from Vishberek. Oh, I'm an apothecary. Great. Common folk were buying simple remedies from rashes and stomach ache. Some fools were looking for love potions or other such nonsense, and occasionally a courier boy would arrive, bringing a request for items outside regular apothecary's range. And then, everything goes wrong, not until we introduce our character. A sudden knock at the door interrupts your thoughts. You stand up from the chair. Wait a minute, I'm coming! Move using the arrow keys or numpad recommended, left sh shift and the direction for repeated movement, okay. You can also left click to move, controls can be adjusted, great. And I'm in my home on day one of March 1353, and I've got 20 out of 20 vitality. So, I'm pretty sure, uh, from what I understand, this is a roguelike, and it looks very much, you know, Tales of Magile when I'm looking at the tile set and the size of the tiles, uh, so far, and it looks great. I have a beautiful pink rug, okay? So I'm going to move around and just kind of see what happens. Let's see what I can uh, combine ingredients into tools, both arcane and mundane. All right. Uh, now, I don't really want to do that. I guess that's at this table. I can do that. Uh, we'll walk over here and see if there is a baked-in tutorial. Okay. Um, now, if I... Oh, look, you can, like, mouse click to make a whole path. If I, you know, go down here, I can walk all the way there. Knocking repeats. This time, the door shakes, seemingly from kicks. You swear quietly. Approach the door, interact using the Z, or by clicking the hand button in the bottom of the screen. Then choose the direction using numpad, arrow, or mouse. If you prefer mouse controls, you can right-click in instead. Uh, I'm going, damn it. All right, fine, let's go. All right, I can uh, open the door, and I'm going to... Uh... Now, let's just go ahead and right-click it. A boy, 10 or so years old, is standing outside the door. His face is smudgy, clothes worn, and boots covered in street dirt. Hey, mister. Master Ricardo, the innkeeper, sent me. Um, examine the outside of the door. There are marks of fresh dirt on your door, remarkably similar to the dirt covering the boy's boots. Pointed to do the dirt marks. Do not do this ever again. Um, I'm just going to be nice, sort of. Uh, you know there's a doorbell, right? The boy shrugs. Can't reach it. Too high. So Master Rick said I should go tell you that he needs a bottle of your uh, essence of crust. Um, do you mean essence of rust? Yes, of trust. He said I should give you the money and ask when it's ready. Return tomorrow. I'll have it ready. Wink, wink. Where's the money? The boy gives you nine shining silver coins. All right, cool. Um, the potion costs ten coins. You're one coin short. Uh, must be somewhere in my pockets. He starts checking the pockets very intently. Uh, didn't Ricardo pay you already? Stop trying to swindle me. The boy glares at you and puts the remaining coin in your hand. You're an ass, mister, and your house stinks, too. Yeah, yeah, see you tomorrow, little scoundrel. Look, buddy, I don't like your attitude. I got a lot of work to do. If Ricardo paid you, don't try to skim off the top after you damaged my door. Do you know how much money that door costs? By the way, my house is sweet. Look how spacious this is. You wish you had a house like this. Essence of Rust is the potion that melts metal. Not the first time Ricardo ordered that. Uh, I don't know what it's for, not that I couldn't guess. The recipe should be on my table with all the other papers, all right? There's a bunch of recipes lying on the table in the northeastern corner up here, I guess. Approach it and use Z or right-click. Okay, 
So we're going to go walk over here. Actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to practice using the mouse. I just like zoom over here and then push Z and the direction, and I got it. Should be in one of these notes. Open your inventory eye or the bag icon in the bottom of the screen, then read the notes using Z. Mouse controls can be used here too. The learned recipes are kept in your journal, which is J, or the book icon on the bottom of the screen. Okay. So I'm going to um, go into my inventory. And my inventory is enormous. I mean, it takes up my whole screen, which is great. So this is huge. And let's see, I've got um, a recipe for the Rift Potion, Essence of Rust. This is the one I want. And I want to read it. And it says, you refresh your memory uh, of the recipe here. And I can see details in my journal. Let me just go ahead and read all these. I'm just going to read every single one and put it in my journal. I have no ingredients. I just have money. I'm going to push Escape. This is the one. Mix untainted metallic dust with water. Get it to the boiling point. Dissolve something dead and something umbral in the hot water to invite rot and decay. Pour the boiling liquid into the bottle. The necessary materials should be somewhere in the house. The first step in the potion creation is to find the raw components. Press S to see contents of containers. Okay. Approach it and press Z or right click to take items. All right. Okay, so if you hold down S, these pop-ups appear, which show the constituent contents and the item type. So if I push J to go into my journal, umbral, metallic, and dead, right? So let's kind of just learn what these are. So there's, um, I mean, there's a bone over here. This is definitely going to work. So let me uh, gather this. By the way, I pushed Z and then num key 5 to explore the tile that I'm standing on. And uh, we got it. So dry bones, after grinding them into dust, I can use it as something dead. Great. Um, you can see your raw materials in your inventory along with potential uses. Additionally, you can check all known components in your journal in the components tab. All right, so what else? Uh, let me kind of go over here and... This is metal, right? So I'm going to push Z and over here. I can grind these nails into metallic dust with a mortar and use that. Great. And then I just need something umbral. Uh, okay, let's see here. I've got a feather. I've got an apple. Uh, I'm just going to take everything. And black ink. I could distill something umbral from it in my Alembic, but I'll need fuel for that. Okay. So then, let's go down here, and I'm just going to get this apple, green apples. I could grind them into something verdant, but is, since it's not part of the recipe, I might just as well eat them. All right, so I can have a apple to eat. Let's just collect everything that we see. Okay, I'm going to walk over here, and Z, bam, firewood, so I can heat up my alembic. Fantastic. I think that's everything. Now that I have all the raw materials, I can refine them into alchemical essences. All the necessary tables are on, um, or tables for charts or whatever are on the alchemical table. Okay, so I can go to the table in the northeastern corner where I got the notes and push Z and start to work. After selecting the option, choose the item to process, then choose the amount and hold Z or left mouse button to con confirm. Okay. And examine the tools. Um, all sorts of tools here used to process raw materials. Um, all right. What's in the drawers? Those drawers are for keeping components sorted. Each one is marked with a small carved picture representing its contents. Oh, good. I'm organized. In real life, I am not in the game I hope to be. When raw component is going to be used without any processing, I just put it into one of those. Sorting items is important. This way I won't have to double check which of them is to use afterwards. I know that whatever is in the drawer will do. I should do this with the firewood that I took from the chest. Um, and the carpenter who carved these pictures certainly did fine work. I often spend time appreciating the style. Well, that's good that we had enough money to get a carpenter who knew his way around carving pictures. Uh, what about the mortar and pestle? A sturdy glazed ceramic mortar and a pestle. I use those when I need to grind something into small pieces or squeeze the juice out of plant matter. When ground, an item can have qualities very different from when it's whole. Right now, I should use it to grind the iron nails into metallic dust and bones into bone meal. Great. The mortar has suffered through a lot. Acid and poison and diamond dust. 
all have been there inside. Still, it stands. The potter did a wonderful job. This is great. I love how I'm admiring the job of the butcher, the baker, and the candlestick maker. You know, like all the people in this town here in 1353 have their role. Even that rude errand boy who I took money from so he probably can't eat. Um, but I'm an alchemist and I appreciate good tradespeople. All right, what about the Alembic? An Alembic made of fine crystal glass. Glass blower's work has costed me a small fortune. I use it to distill the purest essences from materials. More often than not, their properties are drastically different from what their impure source had. Distillation requires fire, so I need to prepare something to burn beforehand. I will need the Alembic to distill something umbral from black ink. I don't know if there's another Alembic like this one in the whole town. So the glassblower did awesome work. If something happened to it, my work would suffer greatly. All right, proceed. Okay, um, there's also some other ingredients up here. I'm going to try and just take everything and see what it says. Uh, quartz can be used to, in crafts as a whole crystal or ground into ephemeral particles. For the potion that I need, neither would be useful. All right, so I don't actually need that. So then let's go ahead then and just use the table. Um, oh, maybe this isn't the right table. Maybe it's this table over here yeah all right sort items without processing to use their most basic qualities grind items with the mortar and pestle and distill them with the alembic so i need to kind of do all of this i'm going to grind and we're going to grind um the bone right so if i grind this it says crunch the bone into dry coarse bone meal and i'll receive something dead uh all right go for it and i already have zero something dead so we need this um Go ahead. Um, I'm going to just tell it to, like, do all of it. And uh, click until I hold it, and we got it. And we got something dead. And I don't think I need... Um, do I need to grind this up? Something metallic, uh, I guess. Okay. And I'm going to just grind her up. Got it. And then I'm going to push escape. And we can sort items, I guess firewood and quartz um something to burn and something crystalline let's put this firewood in here okay and then i'm going to go distill items and we're going to distill this umbral ink and we'll go ahead we're going to use firewood we're going to use ink and we're going to get some i need all of it go for it and we got something umbral okay uh, all right. And I think we're done. That should be enough for the potion. Now I only need to follow the recipe. Interact with the cauldron using Z. Okay. So the cauldron is right next to me. So I'm going to push Z and just kind of bump into it. And it tells me what potions I can make. And kindle the flame under the cauldron and mix the ingredients to create all kinds of magical potions. So we need essence of rust, which is right here. We could also make a rift potion or a fireball potion. Awesome. I'm going to click on this, and we're going to use uh, firewood and metallic umbral dead. Let's just click all the way until we get one, and we got an essence of rust. We did it. The potion is complete. Just need to bundle it to protect the bottle from breaking, and the work is done. Oh, it's time for wrapping. Just as Dr. Incompetent finished bundling the potion, there was another knock at the door. However, that... That time it wasn't a courier boy. The visitors didn't even wait for the alchemist to come out for them. Surrender in the name of the Radiant, they yelled as the door fell onto the floor. Armed men enter the house, armor painted with golden suns, a Templar. Two guards follow him. Uh-oh, they know Likey. They know Likey the alchemical. The church has learned about heretical arts practiced here. Proclaim the Templar. Either you follow us to the fair trial, quote-unquote fair trial, or the judgment will happen right here, right now, and without mercy. Uh, I'm going to take option three. He approached the apothecary and pointed his sword toward his chest. As the, alchemi the alchemist struggled to think of any solution, the guards grabbed him by his arms and pulled him forcefully. No, use that potion on his sword. Move, the Templar commanded. The guards said nothing as they led the alchemist to the cell. The few minutes of fresh air seemed like mere moments, and then he fell face first onto half rotten straw, covering the stone floor of his cell. Your trial is tomorrow. Have a good rest, the Templar stated, shutting the heavy door. Our hero was alone again. Maybe I have my potion still. 
As he was looking around, shaking himself off, his hand stumbled upon an item in his pocket. Yes, the very potion he was just preparing. Still warm. Let's alchemize our way out of this. I just made that word up. Now that's awfully convenient. Are you telling me they didn't even search him? <laughs> I love the narrator in this. A lucky coincidence, the storyteller. Imagine how surprised the alchemist must be about that. So you're just lampshading this and moving on? That's exactly what I'm doing. Essence of Rust. Ricardo will not receive his order today, but maybe, just maybe, it'll save my life instead. A barred window to the neighboring cell attracts your attention. It's large enough to move through if you deal with the metal grate. To prepare the potion for throwing, open your inventory and select the potion with Z. Switch to throw action by pressing A or right-clicking the action icon and selecting it from the list. Okay. Press Z to activate the item on the target. Okay. Interesting. All right, so we need to... Um, escape the prison and we can break the bars to go into this cell see if there's any ingredients there are in the next cell cool i gotta say i haven't stopped to really talk about the game too much i'm going to put this in the comments below and in the description but this game is free to play on io and i'll put the link for the game and there's a five dollar version that you can buy uh, which is effectively the same, except it lets you, I think, have multiple deaths or something like that. But it's it's the same game. Um, it's just kind of like a way to say thank you to the developer for making it um, and give them a donation. But he uh, or they so kindly provide it for, for free so you can try it out. And if you like them and want to support it, get that $5 version. Anyway, I'm uh, testing it out myself and enjoying it uh, a lot so far. I think it's a really unique I like the storytelling um, and the approach to this, so let's see what happens. I'm going to go to my inventory. I'm going to um, right-click on this, and I'm going to prepare it for throwing, okay? And did I prepare it for throwing? Yes, I think. Um, now, down here it says SDX. Um, I'm just going to... You touch the grate, it's sturdy. Okay, uh, let's see. I didn't do that right. All right, so I have readied this potion, so I can push A for actions, and I think what I want to do is just obviously throw my Essence of Rust, um, and... No? Oh, okay. So now that I've done that, now Z becomes this, and I can push it again, and now I can aim it, and I'm going to aim it to here, and I'm going to push Enter, and I threw it, and I... Break, I broke it. Okay, so you got to push A and then change what your interaction is. Like, you can push stuff, okay, or you can interact, and then whatever you have selected will now be Z. Okay, I got it. All right, um, let's go ahead, and if I push S, there's stuff here. So, let's uh, get this. We got some skulls and some manacles. Uh, we got broken wood. Is there anything else? Oh, yep, there's some moss up here. I'm just getting everything I can. Whatever. Okay. And if I push X, uh, I can, like, look around and just see what is going on here uh, and get some examining, like, some text. All right, and we're going to go through here, and it looks like there's definitely a door. Something is going on, and you can just press Alt to see the stuff or S, whichever one you want, to highlight things. And um, there's another chain up here. Let's go ahead and get this. Got chains, and um, I don't think I have any more essence of rust unless I can, like, make some, right? So let's go up this way. Let me see if I can open this door. No. Okay, let's go this way. And the barrel blocks my path. I could either break it or push it to make way. So um, you can push A to switch action, or you can hold left shift shift while selecting the target to repeat an action. Oh, okay. Um, interesting. Or you can do it several times. Fair enough. Don't forget, forget that you can use S to see the contents of your container. Okay. So, um, S, I see there. Alright, so I'm going to um, push Z. Actually, no, I'm going to push A and I'm going to select push from the action menu. Now I'm going to um, push this a, a few times. 
like that, just out of my way. And then I'm going to um, kind of change this back to interact. And we're going to just take the moss. And let's see what else is around here. There's like beer and stuff. That's cool. Um, so uh, let's just kind of Z up. We got a tanker to beer. Yeah, let's get all this stuff. I'm taking everything. I don't know if like my encumbrance matters at all. But whatever. I'm getting it. Um, I don't know what I'm going to need and what I'm not going to need. Um, I'm going to pick this up. Let me see if there is any kind of... It doesn't look like there is any weight. Like, so it looks like I can just pick up whatever I want, which is great, to be honest. Cool. Got it. Anything left behind? Nope. All right, let's go around here. And ooh, the floor has collapsed here, revealing the tunnels underneath. You can see just barely the floor of a lower level. You could probably jump down without harming yourself. Um, take a step back. I, I have no choice, unfortunately. Like, I don't think any of these doors are open. I can't make a potion of rust. Oh, no, I did open this door. Huh. All right, cool. Well, let me make sure that there aren't any other doors that are just randomly open. No. Okay. Uh, we did our best to get what we could. And we're going to have to jump down. And we're down here. And it's dark. Can I open this door? I can. There's spider web. Heck yeah. Old tunnels often contain secret passages and hidden mechanisms. I should check this room carefully. Uh, you can switch to interact. Um, okay. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and... Yeah, we're already on Interact, so that's good. So let me just take this and... I lit the torch. Oh, that's cool. Ooh, that was a secret. Awesome. So there's, like, secrets and there's stuff to collect. Cool. What an interesting game. All right. And I open this door. And there's a bunch of moss. Uh, we'll just go ahead and get it. Yep. I hear something sh shambling around. As you enter the dimly lit room with a single torch on the wall, you see that you're no longer alone. A man in dark clothes is standing, leaning against the wall. Shadow falls onto his face, obscuring all the features except eyes that glimmer red. Doctor incompetent, if I'm not mistaken. I'm in indeed glad to see you make it this far. Now this is creepy. Um, who are you? The silhouette bo bows theatrically. The devil. In the flesh. Wow, is this Dr. Faustus? Um, that we're, we're playing the game of here, I suggest that we skip the unnecessary screams of disbelief and get straight to business. I have a proposition for you. Uh, I'm not going to make a deal with the devil. I can save your life. Um, I'll save myself. Leave me alone. Are you sure? I want you to know that this room is a dead end. There's no secret passage and the guards have already found out about your absence. I'm the only one who can help you. I'm asking for the last time. Are you sure you want to die? I am sure. Be gone. The black figure shrugged and disappeared, leaving only a cloud of smoke behind. The alchemist was left alone in a room to ponder his decision. As he was looking around and poking every wall, slowly he realized that the devil wasn't lying. There was no exit. The guards getting to him was now only a matter of time. Seriously, is that how you want to end the story? Well, maybe. Are you out of your mind? What's even the moral of the story? Don't pass on the devil's deal? Is this what you want your story to be about? A cautionary tale about what happens when you refuse to sell your soul? Exactly. Um, this is so funny. I mean, I'm uh, I'm teaching a Brit Lit class right now, and we actually just did Christopher Marlowe's uh, The Tragical Dr. Faustus, and it's like, it's hilarious that basically we're doing Dr. Faustus. And I'm like, no, I know what happens when you make a deal with the devil. It's bad. And then I honestly thought the game just ended right there. But no, the game is like, no, it's not going to end. there. And we're talking to the storyteller. And don't yell at me. I agree. Let's try again from scratch. Give me that paper. There it goes. Wish I had a chimney like yours. And okay, so we need to play a new game and we need to start again. And let's try to make a different story. You better. The last one was less than ideal. Go ahead. All right. And... The day was like any other in a life of Dr. Incompetent. An apothecary from Vishbrick. Common folk were buying and selling simple remedies. Yep, this is the same. But then it says, 
and occasionally a courier boy would arrive, bringing a request for items outside regular apothecary's range, which is different. Now we got a knocking at the door. Okay, and let's go down to the door and see if this is indeed different. All right, I'm going, and we open the door. What does he want? Um, essence of Rust, return tomorrow. Um, I'm going to give him the extra coin. See you tomorrow, buddy. Uh, continue. I tipped him. And here we are back doing a simple commission. So this is hilarious. So I guess I had to make that deal, even though I didn't want to make that deal. And now we're going to progress, but I don't know if the narrative is going to shift or not. But all I can say is I'm intrigued by this game. I think it's very interesting. I love the idea of being an alchemist and making potions. And, you know, this time period of like, you know, you get the Dr. Faustus feel, you get, uh, you know, kind of like, not the Enlightenment yet, it's too early for that, you know, we're in the Dark Ages, um, or we're at least, you know, in the Middle Ages, and we're like looking to maybe make it to the Renaissance or something, but we're not even there yet. And so there's this very, very difficult position of, of pre-science dealing with the church and, the, uh, you know, the devil and demons and you know, getting thrown into the dungeon by the Templars. It's its such an interesting story. And you have this kind of meta discourse happening with the storyteller and the game player and the alchemist. And I think it's just such a cool game uh, from top to bottom. And I'd love to know what you guys think of this game in the comments below. Do you want to see me play more? Have you tried it? Are you interested in this? Have you put a bunch of time into it? And can you can talk to um, further in the game uh, for anyone else who's interested in maybe playing? Please share your thoughts uh, in the comments below. Everyone, thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. Take care.